Good morning, St. Mary's. It's Thursday, April 2nd, 2020, and Distance Learning Day 14. Guess what? We've made it to spring break. This is our last day of learning with seven school days off between now and our next day together. So congratulations, we would be having a big celebration if we were here in the Seats of Wisdom together to say we made it because everybody looks at spring break as a pretty good goal throughout the year. But we did make it, even though we're making it in a different way than we expected. And I'm very proud of all of you to have made it to this day with such success. Let's remember today and throughout spring break that we are called to be saints in the world so that we can someday be saints in heaven with Jesus. And Mary is our special friend. We can ask for help with that effort. Let's pray today that during this time, the church will be a sign of hope, comfort, and love to all. Grant peace, grant comfort, and grant healing. And ask Mary to be with us as we pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to your protection implored your help or sought your intercession, was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, we fly unto you, O Virgin of virgins, our mother. To you do we come, before you we stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not our petition, but in your mercy, hear and answer us. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In all this time of uncertainty, let's ask God's special blessing on our country as we say, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And I pledge to be a peaceful person. We have several announcements this morning, so please Listen carefully to everything we're about to share with you. First of all, Abby Hughes is back one more time to tell us about any birthdays at our, in our St. Mary's community. Good morning. Today's Thursday, April 2nd, 2020. We have one St. Mary's birthday today, and it is my mom, Mrs. Hughes from preschool. Happy, happy birthday, mom. I'd also like to extend a, happy, a special birthday wish to a bunch of students lucky enough to celebrate their birthday over spring break. Happy birthday to first grader Grayson Fortbecker on April 4th, first grader William Whitmore on April 6th, fourth grader Brooklyn Vlad on April 8th, eighth grader Alexander Pierce on April 9th, seventh grader Lindsay Ladd on April 11th, Preschooler Sam Bowen on April 12th and Preschooler Charlie Diabal on April 13th. We hope you have a great celebration of the day God gave you as a gift to your family, your friends, St. Mary's, and the world. world. Have a great day, St. Mary's. Thank you, Abby. Before you go on spring break and have lots of relaxing fun, I would like you to do one special favor for me today. Please send your teacher a quick note to say thank you for all the work that she or he has done in the last few weeks to continue to teach you. This has been a very, very difficult time for teachers who were not expecting to have to change everything about their, their teaching in their classroom and, and their time with you. So please just give them a quick thank you today and say and tell them to have the very best, most relaxing spring break possible so that they can be all rejuvenated for our time together after spring break. I would really appreciate it. Now, we're probably all wondering what things are gonna look like after spring break. And unfortunately, the answer is, I don't know. We're waiting on announcements from our governor on what might happen in Michigan after the spring break holidays, and we just can't make very many decisions before that. But here's what I do know. Faith is like Wi-Fi. It's invisible, but it has the power to connect you to what you need. And so I'm gonna ask you to just have faith. Have faith 
that whatever the governor decides and whatever the plan is after spring break, we are gonna stay connected and we are going to keep learning. That's the promise I can make to you. And I just ask you to have some faith and trust me that that's what will happen after spring break. Now, I've been giving you lots of suggestions for fun things to do online while we've been learning, but today I wanna to tell you about the fun things I'm gonna do that are offline over spring break. Things I'm excited about, and I hope maybe one or two of them are things that you'll be excited to do too. First, I'm gonna sleep in. I'm not gonna get up early in the morning and I'm gonna enjoy some extra time and some extra rest. I'm gonna read books. Sometimes I don't get to read whole books during the school year when I'm busy working, but I'm looking forward to finishing several books over this nice long spring break. I'm gonna go running and get exercise and keep myself healthy. I'm gonna cook for my family and for myself and try new recipes and new foods. I'm gonna go hiking in the beautiful lakeshore area that we have right here in Spring Lake. I'm gonna build Legos with my family because that's something we all like to do. I'm gonna make puzzles because that's another challenge we all like to take on. And finally, I'm gonna play with my dog as much as I possibly can. So I hope some of those things give you ideas of what to do over these long spring break days that probably aren't gonna be on the beach or somewhere far away like you were expecting, but instead right here at home. There are fun things we can do when we have some free time at home, and I hope you all find those things throughout your spring break. We are wrapping up our study of humility today by naming our humility champions. Now, every teacher was not able to get back to me on who their humility champions were, but I did hear from a few, and I wanna celebrate those students who were thought of as humility champions in their classrooms. In first grade, we have Sophia M. and Tegan M. as humility champions. In fourth grade, Peyton G. was identified as a humility champion. And in middle school, Max and Ross Fercano and Lindsay Ladd all identified as humility champions. And on the faculty, no question in my mind that our humility champion is Mrs. Giroux. Mrs. Giroux has been teaching for 30 plus years right here at St. Mary's and she knows more about how to run this school and what this school should look like than probably anybody but she is always so humble when she comes to me with suggestions or thoughts about what to do with the school or decisions that we're making. And she always makes me feel like she respects the gifts that I bring to the school. And I love that about her and I appreciate that about her, how humble and filled with humility she is in everything she does. So congratulations, humility champions. If and when we're back, we're gonna take your picture and celebrate you along with everyone else in our champions cabinet. Well, that is all I have today, St. Mary's. Please enjoy your spring break. Take some time, rest and relax, and whatever comes after spring break, we're going to be in it together. Make sure in everything you do during your holiday that you are always... Have a great time!